Let's practice some spark lines in Excel 2013. You can download this file from sdrv.ms forward slash 19t8 capital U Y J. You don't have to type in the www by the way. So once you have this file, you can right click to insert a nice uh, row right before this uh, day one, day two, day three. So I'm going to, in uh, row three, go right click, insert. And we want to summarize the information in these columns using sparkline columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on cell C3 now and go to insert. And these here are sparklines to the right of the charts. And I'm going to choose the column sparklines. So I'm going to click on this one here. And the data range is going to be from this information here, from day one all the way to day 31. So if I scroll up to the top, you can see the location range is C3, which is correct. I'm just going to press Enter. So there's my beautiful sparkline representing all the 7 a.m. times. So these are all the different calorie amounts I've been taking in the month of January for at 7 a.m. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play around with some formatting, particularly the styles and markers. So while I'm here clicking on the cell, you can see we're in the design tab. We can actually hit the little drop down box for more options. And if you hover around here and you just leave your mouse for a sec, it tells you what kind of style accent we have. So this one here is kind of orangey red. I'll click on this one here, which is fine. And of course, you can manually change the sparkling color using your own color box here as well. So I'm going to change the marker color as well. So there's these marker colors. If you want to emphasize either the high, low, first or last point or negative points, you can do so. I'm just going to focus on the first point. I'm going to make this first point, we'll just say purple. And you can see the first point here, if you look very carefully, it's going to be purple. And let's make the, the marker color, the last point, also purple. So if you look very carefully, the first little blip and the last little blip is now a different color. Now that we've successfully formatted this sparkline representing all the different data values at 7 a.m., I'm going to use autofill just hover over the mouse to the bottom right corner until you see the black plus sign. Click and drag all the way across so we essentially get different spark lines for all the uh, information all the way across all your data now. So we have the different spark lines for your 8 a.m. slots, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. and we have all these nice representations of the information for each column. So these spark lines offer a nice summary view of how we're doing uh, in terms of our calorie intake uh, across the different days. What if we want to compare the, our, actually, our actual calorie intake across the different times throughout each day? In that case, we'd focus on each row instead of each column. So let's create some nice spark lines going across this way, sideways. So I'm going to click on the cell here. This is where I want my nice spark line. And I'm going to go to insert. And instead of a column graph, let's make it interesting. Let's, let's use a nice line spark line. Line spark lines are more suitable when we're comparing information across time. So in this case, we're talking about different times throughout the day. So a line spark line would be very suitable. The data range is across the different times going sideways here. And the location range is the cell that I clicked on, which is P5. Click on OK. And you can see that throughout the day, my calorie intake is going up and down and it starts dropping down towards the end there. And if you just use autofill, grab the bottom right corner until you see the black plus sign, click and drag all the way down, we're going to have a nice representation of all the spark lines throughout the entire month. And there you have it. Gotta love these mini graphs.